Right. How's my Plus, fortune ahead here? Is oh, there, you know? that's going to be debatable. All right, let's, <laughs> but you don't believe in fortune, so. Not luck. I don't believe in luck, luck. man. So, um, no, I, I don't. But I'm <laughs> but curious perhaps, to see what we're yeah, doing here. Yeah, good fortune. So. Well, Aaron is with us, and thank you so much for being here. Fancy fortune cookies. So let's talk about, first of all, how did this business get started? This has a long history. It does. We've actually been in Indianapolis for over 35 years. My wow. husband originally started it, and I took it over in 2004. He yeah. passed away about nine years hmm. ago, and I've been kind of wow. running it ever since. That's so amazing. It's and a I, lot of fun. Well, we always wonder. I don't know how a fortune cookie is made, so you're going to show us sort of how it's done. Absolutely. Okay, so how do we begin? So you start out with just flour and sugar, usually equal proportions. So okay. if you're going to do a half a cup of one, you do a half a cup of the other. You want to put a splash of vanilla in couple of egg whites and you just kind of want to mix it together really well until it becomes a nice paste. Yeah. I always add in a tablespoon of vegetable oil okay. if I'm making them at home. And then feel free to have fun. Add food coloring or in this case these are crushed raspberries. Ooh, so you can okay. kind of mix those in and give it just a little bit of extra flavor and interest for the people that you're making them for. Okay. And I always have people, you know, you bake them at about between 350 and 400 mm -hmm. and use a um, uh, just your regular old cupcake tin because you can put them in here as they cool and that'll help them keep their shape well, so they don't continue wondering. to how, spread out. How do you get that shape? Like when you put it in there, how do, how do you make sure it goes from that to that? So pretend this is flat. So you're going to make a flat cookie. Okay. I have some in the oven over here, okay. but they're not quite ready. That's yet. okay. That's and okay. so you're going to make it really, really thin, the thinnest layer you can possibly imagine. And then when you fold it, it helps if you have gloves or something because right. they're really hot and you have to do it quickly. You're going to fold it in half and then you're going to make the bend on the oh, edge of a bowl. And then you just let it dry? And right. Sit. So then you let it sit here and it'll cool and it'll be in that fortune cookie shape. That's so interesting. So how do you get the, the fortune inside the cookie? So you would take your pieces of paper, cut them out, you'd write your fortunes on them or even print them if you prefer. And then when you're folding your cookie in half, you're going to put that slip of paper right there. And that way it's bent and it's inside. Okay. All right. I made that Should one. Should we see yeah, what your fortune is? I'll bet you did. Like, I make this them all. This is no setup. So. I go ahead and... Sure. Okay. I don't know what's in there. Those two and I'll, I'll okay. see. You read yours and I'll read mine. I have no said, idea what's in there. If mine's them. better, you might want right. to switch. Don't, don't worry. I wasn't made in China. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh. Can I eat this? I'm going to go ahead and eat it. Absolutely. Yeah. And this says, mm -hmm. some men see things as they are and say, why? I dream things that never were and say, why not? <laughs> totally sounds like me. Very good. Very <laughs> so good. with National Fortune Cookie Day coming up tomorrow, do you guys do anything big, anything different? I mean, this is your day. Well, so there's actually two National Fortune Cookie Days. So if you feel like this has been sprung on you and you haven't been able to get anything together <laughs> and you don't really want to try making yeah. them on your own, um, then you've got September 13th as well. There you go. So we do lots of businesses. They'll do little special treats for people right. when they come into work. That's or... so great. But obviously, come see you guys. I mean, because right. we've got a picture here of all the different colors. <laughs> but then if we come out here, I mean, look at look at the size of these things. Huge. Do you do events? I would imagine birthday parties. Mm -hmm. People could just come grab them if they want. How does that work? Absolutely. So we can make them custom to order. And if you give us a couple of days here locally, that's about all we need. Um, and then we'll just have them ready for you to pick up. We do all kinds That's of so corporate fun. gifts that we mail out. To and everybody. I bet you have different designs on your website, right? Where mm -hmm. people can choose from? Definitely. Well, Randy, this screams indie style party right here. It tastes great. <laughs> I'm glad you <laughs> like it. it. It really does. I remember having them as, as a youngster and it yeah. tastes just about the same as way back then. Yeah. Good. We try yeah. to use like a super old fashioned recipe. Right. We don't. They're, we, just, they're, they're all natural, them, so, yeah. real vanilla. Well, Aaron, thank you so much. Of course, fan, fancyfortunecookies.com rather is where you can find out more.